So in this video I want to go through two of the rules that are discussed in the beginning of this chapter, the general conjunction rule and the general disjunction rule. And I'm going to assume that you have this chapter printed out in front of you. Um, if you don't, it'd be a good idea to do that. And so I will just use this population here as our example population and we'll answer some questions. So we'll start with this question here. What is the probability of selecting an individual from this population, this one here, who is employed and has high blood pressure? So what we want is, let's see, employed and high blood pressure. Excuse my script here. So to figure this out, we need probability of selecting someone who's employed times the probability of selecting someone who has high blood pressure given that they're employed. So this thing here we call a conditional probability and it's read as the probability of having this value, high blood pressure, given that the individual has this second quality, in this case, being employed. Okay, so here we're using the general conjunction rule. Uh, and we're using the general conjunction rule instead of the special conjunction rule because our variables are associated. Uh, if you don't remember how you can tell that, well, easiest way is just to look at the diagram here and see that this proportion here is different than this one here and this one here 70 percent is different than this one here. Uh, if you need more review on that then you might want to go back to the previous chapter and check that out. But we have a population where the variables are associated so we're going to use this rule. Now in this case the probability of selecting an individual who's employed is 0.75 so that goes right here. I'll write this right here. Times, okay, now how do we find this probability? Probability of having high blood pressure given that the person is employed. The easiest way to find the value for this conditional probability is to look at the diagram and focus, in this case we want to focus on this column here, the column that has uh, all of the people in the population who are employed, and we want to ask ourselves, okay, if someone's in this part of the population, if they are employed, what's the chance that they'll have high blood pressure? Well, you can see just by looking at the, what we have right here that there's a 50% chance. 50% of the employed people have high blood pressure. So we'll take that as our probability. So we want 0.5 here, multiply this out, and that's going to give us 37.5%. So our probability, the probability of selecting someone who is employed and has high blood pressure is 0.375 or 37.5%. Okay, the probability of selecting an individual who is unemployed and has low blood pressure. Again, we want to use the general conjunction rule. So, let's see, unemployed and low. So that's going to be probability of selecting someone who's unemployed times the probability of selecting someone who has low blood pressure given that they're unemployed. Okay, so for this probability, probability of being unemployed, we come up here, we look over here, we see it's 0.25. We want that there. Probability of having low blood pressure given that 
the individual is unemployed low given that they're unemployed so in this case we want to look in this column and we see that if someone's over here they have a 70 percent chance of if we select someone from this part of the population there's a 70 percent chance we'll get someone who has low blood pressure and a 30 percent chance that we'll get someone who has high blood pressure um, or after this this probability here 0.7 low given unemployed so that goes there and so we have one quarter of 70 percent is 17 and a half percent okay a little messy so probability of unemployed given or excuse me probability of unemployed and low blood pressure 17.5 percent next question the probability of selecting an individual who is employed or has high blood pressure in this case we want to use the general disjunction rule which for this problem is going to be unemployed or high blood pressure so what we want to do is probability of selecting an individual who is un excuse me employed plus probability of selecting someone who has high blood pressure minus minus the probability of selecting someone who has both okay so the probability of selecting someone who is employed from this population we already said was let me switch colors here green uh, employed 0.75 so we want that here plus the probability of selecting someone who has high blood pressure so we haven't used this probability yet but for just probability of high blood pressure unconditionally in this population that's going to be 0.45 minus the probability of selecting someone who has both these qualities uh, they're employed and they have high blood pressure okay now for this one recall that we've already figured this out right here employed probability of employed and high blood pressure and our answer is 0.375 so that's actually what we want right here so to use this rule Again, this is the general disjunction rule. Uh, we're combining two probabilities with an OR here, combining employed and high blood pressure with an OR, so we use general disjunction. Um, and in order to do that, we have to actually do this other calculation that we did up here in our first problem. We have to use one of the conjunction rules. In this case we use the general conjunction. Okay, so what are we going to have here? Uh, these two are going to come to 120% minus so it's going to be 82.5 Okay, so the probability of selecting someone who is employed or has high blood pressure or both is 82.5%. Okay, for this last one, I don't have too much time here, so I'll just write it out. Again, we want to use the general disjunction rule. Okay, so for this problem, here's our answer, 62.5% chance of selecting someone who's unemployed or large or both from this population.